One of my favorite songs of all time is Whole Lot of Love. I can't listen to it enough. I especially love the middle part where you're you're hitting the cymbals there and the, it's making the strange sounds. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, what, what I'm doing... Did, uh, was I'm that actually, a concept that came to you oh, all at once? It absolutely. You, it was a if vision? You, absolutely. If you hear the companion disc of Whole Lot of Love, you'll hear it without the choruses and this, and it, it's like a voodoo charm. But I tell you something, it breaks down in the middle for all this sort of time to allow, because it's I, I wanted that there, yeah. to put on the textures which you're referring to. Right. So it was the vision before you went into the yeah. studio? Yeah, I wanted, yes, I, did, I wanted to have something that was really radio unfriendly. Why yeah. is that? Because because the, they wanted to, you know, singles always had like a, a time limit to them. Sure, like three and minutes, I 30 seconds. I definitely didn't want to be a singles band or taken, but I could tell, I, could, I knew how catchy this was. I mean, the, the riffs are killer. Yeah. Killer. It was always said that we weren't going to be doing a singles m market, so you would keep getting, you could get into that awful sort of whirlpool of, of the latest single. What's the latest single? And then if a single doesn't sort of do so well, then you're in it really in a mess, because now you're really trying to catch up with yourself. Never do that. It's just do the album. So in the middle of Whole Lot of Love, there was this whole section, which is absolute magic. I mean, it's a really radical avant-garde point. Yes. But we they weren't allowed to edit our music. So it he was either going to be played like that uh, on AM radio stations, or they don't play it at all. So there we are.